Today, um, we're going to be doing some work on the Adventure Milan, uh, Adventure Milan, Adventure Milan porch. Um, I'm going to be doing something with the reed that I got last week that I didn't use. So we're going to do something with that. Um, we're also going to be doing a little reorganization around here. Um, <laughs> this place needs reorganizing in the worst way. Actually, it's already organized in the worst way. It needs to be reorganized in a better way. So we're going to do a little bit, a little bit of that. I'm not going to drag you through all that, but I'm going to show you some kind of cute video from when I moved in here into this particular location um, several years ago. So without too much more ado, oh, and I should also tell you that my blood pressure is in the normal zone. Which is good because within the next couple of months, probably the next two or three months, I have got to get to a dentist because these things are horrible. Matter of fact, I just lost one there. So it, it, these these are the things that we have to do in our lives to be happy and healthy, and um, it's nice to have both at the same time. So anyway, let's get going. Grocery shopping, we all do it every so often. At least once a month, unless you go out and eat, you know, fast food restaurants all the time, which I used to do, but I can't do that anymore. So now I have to go low sodium grocery shopping. So consequently, we wind up getting things like this. Great! Greatest thing in the world. Low in sodium, like there's none, uh, but high in potassium. And they're also good. I've become addicted to these bad boys, let me tell you. Those are very important to have. Well, let's stick that in there right now. But some of this other stuff... Okay, my air conditioner went on. It just does. I'm in a lot of videos. Okay. Party chicken wings. Now, you're probably thinking, Oh, yeah, that's low sodium, all right, you dumb dodo. Actually, uh, for four chicken wings, only has... Uh, these chicken wings only has... 200 milligrams of sodium. So, quite frankly, I can have four of those, or oh, wait, there's four, so I can have eight of those and still survive to talk about it the next day. So that's a very cool thing, you see? It's cool, so I put it in the freezer! But, this is the bag I was looking for. Gar I go. Garlic! Garlic, because we do not do salt anymore. I'll put that down there. <laughs> Spinach in a bag. So when it hits the floor, it doesn't matter. Good for you, and I happen to like it. Small green onions, because we don't use what? Salt. Of course not. Okay. But i got to put all this stuff away. And consequently, I did not get that much. <laughs> because when you go looking for anything in particular that's healthy, you know, you know, you're going to wind up spending more for it, unless you get lucky. Like this, for instance. Pork loin. Very low in sodium. Good heart health. Three nice big pieces. This round up cost me six and a half bucks. That's not too bad. But, by the same token, if you... Oh, what's that's the camera. If you get those individual package, they're going to cost you a bloody fortune. I don't know why it's cheaper for this. Probably because instead of cutting it like, we must slice this in the program, they cut it like, oh, yes, it cut! And that's, uh, you know, that could be it. So uh, I'm going to finish taking care of these groceries here. And you, meanwhile, watch this. This way. Well, it's coming along. 
got the bookshelves, the two bookshelves in, and all the books. It's dark in here because I don't have a light here yet. The TV, console unit there, new couch is going there. Uh, got the chairs here. I'm thinking of how much stuff I have to move, and it's not really all that much. So right now it's taking a while because it's just me, but once I get help, it'll be going a lot faster. Yes, indeed. Here are the movers uh, that I hired from across the pond. Everybody smile for the camera. <laughs> we're getting paid a lot. Oh, you have no idea. Although we've been docked because we were late. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because of siblings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Luke, Luke is very quick to point out that it was not his fault they were late. He was up bright and early. Well, not really. Yeah, I was up at like 8.30. Give me a break. And here's the new prop person putting the props Which on. Which one of these are you going to wear for your Halloween mask? None of them. Yeah. I don't need a mask. I use my face. Yeah, it's scary enough. Uh-huh. See, fortunately for you, that was the joke I was going for, so... <laughs> Hey. No, you didn't have them in the car. Vanessa is arranging my bathroom. Those three things there go up over there. Oh, I brought a light. I should plug it in and turn it on. I love putting it in. I am swimming in cups and glasses. Swimming. Oh, swimming. Literally swimming. Swimming. We She's could, yeah. Totally we could fill a, a tub up. <laughs> cups that you have. Totally arranging the, the kitchen so I'll be sure to not be able to find a thing. Just call me. Email me. That's I'll get right. back to you. <laughs> oh, sure you will. I'll send an email and then three months from now. Yeah, I'll respond. I'll re get a response. Oh yeah, it's in the bottom cabinet. <laughs> That's that done. Let's have a look. Look at that. Just incredible. Looks wonderful. Good job. You gotta show that you've been working too. I've been working too. <laughs> Vanessa's having calamari for lunch. Will you stop hitting that thing? Good <laughs> God. We're taking a break. Luke has wandered away. Going to the loo. Going to the loo. All right. Well, have fun with that. I think. Did you put toilet paper on the roll? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mention my name. You'll get a good seat. So we're taking a break. The front room is almost done. The kitchen is almost done. The bedroom. I don't even want to talk about that. That's going to be no fun whatsoever. But everything else is going nice and quick. Yeah. But so we're going to pretty much get the whole house and move. So, pretty much. Uh, pretty much what? So, we're going to get all the stuff that's in your one and put it all in here. Exactly. Everything. Hopefully. Except the rubbish. Except the rubbish. Um, Except the couch, the rubbish, and probably the top of the bed. That's all going to the garbage. Ha! Can't run to the loo this time. Get off of me. What are you doing? Proving that Luke actually does work. Good luck. Why did you... <laughs> ah, you can't help okay. my lunch. Uh, no. No paparazzi, no paparazzi. No paparazzi. <laughs> no paparazzi. <laughs> Old box head over here. get back to it. Okay, well here's the plan. We have this fence that's been here. <laughs> it's the fence to the yard. And we have all this four foot reed. And we have the extra four foot reed because I tried to use it back here and it didn't work. I have to get six foot for this. 
So I have more four foot read right there. So what we're going to do is this four foot read and that roll of four foot read and this roll of four foot read. Try saying four foot read like five times fast. It's not easy. We're going to go across the fence here. And so I have to pull all this stuff forward a little bit, enough to get this behind it, then push it up back against it, which is going to kind of hold it up. And then I can just simply drive some short nails through the reed into the wood without having to worry about how it's going to fasten there. It should be pretty easy, one would think. But let's find out how it works out. Also, there is a small bug that is flying right in this area here, but will continue. If I turn this way, it'll fly in this area. Like so, because that's what small bugs do. So, um, let's see what we can do with this. Okay, I've got all this pulled away, as far as I dare pull it away. And I think instead of taking the big roll and doing it all at once, I might take the smaller ones and do it in pieces. Because there's some things I have to get behind here. But maybe not that big. Yes, I am listening to the monkeys. I like to listen to the monkeys. It is. Okay, to do this and secure it properly so it looks right, we have to use a specific type of professional um, building equipment. In this case, we're going to use push pins. one to put it in place, one to secure the two pieces together, then we pull the first one out. Then we can kind of curl the reed around it, so it's not quite so obvious. Well, there it is with the reed up. Looks better, blends nicely. It's not looking too bad. A little corner, there's a little spot right there. But I'll soon have 16 feet of six foot tall reed, which I can cut to four feet and I'll be able to finish that part. So, it's looking good. And before I forget, I told, told you about this last week, but I never showed it to you. This is my plant. The, yeah. Not the thing going up around the door, right there. One of the first of uh, several, I hope. We're doing the screen test for Josh here for uh, Kid Stuff Films, and I have other people putting the foam in because I don't want to do it. <laughs> so, fortunately, more people came than just Josh, and so I let them do the work. Well, we weren't going to let him jump. That's how I do it here. 
Yeah. All cast members have to go through this, so I'm not treating him any worse than I treat anybody else. <laughs> Yo, homie buckos, one other thing we're going to do for this video, because it's a little late getting to you anyway, is we're going to go back to the uh, bowling center I work at. We're going to go back into the shop. I got something else I'm going to show you back there, so let's uh, do that right now. Okay, I'm at work. This is one of the uh, storage rooms where we keep our parts and pieces and pieces and parts. And then this bad boy right here, this is a Mondo size air compressor. And it's basically for the bumpers. This is what allows the bumpers to go up and down. Now let me tell you something about bumpers. It's time for Eddie's Weekly Grind. Yeah. Bumpers in a bowling center are a lie. They make you think you have scored a two, I had a 269. No, you didn't. You had an 84, but you kept hitting the bumpers instead of throwing gutter balls, and it knocked pins over. That's not how you bowl. I'm crying out loud. Now, if you're just coming to bowl for fun, that's no big deal. But I see a lot of people who bring their kids here who actually could be pretty good bowlers, and they have the bumpers up, and they bang, 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 either side. If you want to be a good bowler, or if you want to be a fair bowler, Get rid of the bumpers. The bumpers do not help. They lie to you. They tell you you're throwing a better score than you actually have. And I suppose if you, you know, need to know that, that's fine. A lot of people do. But all the juniors I coach, good percentage of them started out using bumpers. And I said, no, lie. But that notwithstanding, um, again, air compressor, oxygen and acetylene, just in case we want to weld something so it can break at a later date. And then there's uh, most of our gears and stuff. Compressors, compressors, compressor, compressors, compre compressors. Oh, they're up there. Uh, motors and all that kind of fun stuff. This is where the big heavy equipment is. Things that we have to fix, like the springs and so forth. When a part breaks, I mean, when, it, when the metal fatigues and the part breaks, it's kind of done. But sometimes we have people who will weld things. Now here's, here's a weld job here. This is what we refer to as total crap. Now, the center pivot is mounted in the correct spot and everything, but there's so much weld around here that it's liable to just jam right up when it's installed. And this right here, this is where a stop pin drops down in there, and you can see that it is... Whoever welded this just did a horrible job. So, as far as this is concerned, we can kind of get away with that, but this has got to go. When people repair things, I mean, there's a difference between fixing something and repairing. This is a fix. We have to turn it into a repair. Unfortunately, all that requires is taking care of this little edge here, so I'm going to do that right now. This grinder wheel is in a much better shape than this well. Now, this is all shiny because of the wire brush, but now it's nice and smooth. Fit, fit in there fine. It won't lock up, it won't damage. I don't, still don't know about this, but this is something there's not really much we can do about it. But, there it is anyway. It can go in the box with the other stuff to use. Hey, it's part of what we do. <laughs> like I said, a lot of people think behind the bowling centers is a marvelous and magical place. And it's not. It's a place of grease and oil and grinding and cutting metal and making machines work. And all that. 
totally different animal than most people think. Oh look, check this out. I have like the, the hair of the oh. Yeah, there's a fan over here. <laughs> Alright, I don't know if you can see me or not, but it's the end of a long night and it's time to go home. <clears throat> it's about 10.30ish. Well, it's 10.15ish. I'm gonna go home. Make myself a little spot of dinner. Relax for a bit. Come out swinging tomorrow. So anyway, I think that'll do it for this video. Hope you found some of it entertaining or interesting or whatever. And um, sorry it was a little late. This one was a little late getting there. They're not always going to be exactly a week apart. I mean, my life is a little uh, complex right now. So, um, I mean, just with everything going on. Oh, get some films. Uh, Pre-production, new film project. I'll tell you more about that later on in the week, probably later on in the month. Look, they got really bright lights. And um, so now you can see me. Thank you for bringing it so they can see me. So um, I'll tell you more about that when the time comes. In the meantime, you guys have a great week. End of line.